Hello, this is Nick George with Clouds Diamond Sharpening just to show you a video on these wall diamond coated one blades uh, to the wall Bavera or wall Arco. Also fits the new Andes 5 in 1. But we'll go down and explain what, why you should buy a more expensive blade or why you shouldn't. Okay, so these are coated with this uh, black stuff, diamond like carbon DLC. Basically, it's well, if you look at it, it's black, of course. Um, but after it's sharpened, it turns silver. So it's just like a regular blade, so you're paying extra for the paint. So if if you have a sharpener that can sharpen these, like if you're one of my customers, I don't really recommend buying these. They're cheaper metal underneath. What I recommend buying these for, if you don't want to pay to get them sharpened, or you don't have a sharpener around you, and you don't have time to send them to get sharpened. These are great because they stay sharper longer, but once they get sharpened one time, they're actually worse than the silver ones. In my experience, they're harder to get sharpened, so that means they're a different kind of metal, which is softer, and uh, you don't really want softer metal. Uh, it'll just go dull faster. So once the carbon is gone, the diamond-like carbon is gone, these are really not any good and you pay extra for them. So if you have a sharpener, just go ahead and save yourself the money and buy the silver ones. Um, and I can sharpen them. I can also sharpen these and they are sharp, but I don't really cut hair so I don't know if they last as long without the, the black diamond-like coating. Um, it's just my theory, it probably doesn't last as long since the metal is softer underneath but it has a harder like surface but these surfaces have to be reshaped because once they get flat they are dull and if you know a lot of people sharpen on a block and they don't um, stay sharp for very long well that's exactly right you have to hollow these blades out to be like that or they don't stay sharp as long because once the sides start bowing up it stops cutting. Once again, if you like these blades, you can continue to buy them. I can sharpen them. I don't see why you'd spend the extra money when the silver ones will probably last longer than these after I sharpen them anyway. I decided to extend this video a little bit by putting the ones together that I sharpened and I showed you earlier in the video. Oil is your best friend. If you want these blades to last the longest, it helps beat off dirt if it goes through dirt. It keeps your sharpening longer and it doesn't wear down the metal as fast because it's less friction. I put a little lube in the cam uh, just because there'll be friction and it'll melt that little plastic piece in there or the guide, whatever you want to call it. Gauge these, I usually turn it on, pop pop it in the bottom here, and pop it in. Okay, time to test. Please cut, this will be super embarrassing. I mean, can't cut no better than that. This is thicker than hair. Um, so we'll just go ahead and try hair after this. We can try it on multiple settings. Okay, and to disengage this, you could turn it off. To disengage this, I see this a lot and people break these platforms and they're kind of expensive. Pulling it straight off, it breaks this little tab right here. Um, so you pop it from the top of the teeth. And then pull it off. To put it on, pop it in the back first and then pop it on. A diamond coated blade which is now over underneath because it has to be resurfaced. Uh, you need both sides to be matching patterns. Uh, depending on if you use a flat and a bevel wheel or maybe two bevel wheels that are less bevel or convex um, 
or two convex, or one more convex, and then one flat. Anyway. Okay, so I got this uh, hair here. like a champion or you know hitting like Mike Tyson have a wonderful day send them in today do not delay and I'll get them sharp for you thank you for this wonderful adventure I hope you enjoyed it talk to you later